Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we finished off the B-side of Bub Lane, and then we made our way over here to Mount Volbono. We're going to be finishing off the story here today. Uh, there's one moon left to complete, which is the Cookadeel Showdown at the top of the mountain. You can see the little sparkle there. So we're going to be heading over there and doing that. Uh, on the way we might grab some extra runes if I see any, uh, or we might not. Uh, I believe we already did all of these. Ah yes, I remember I used uh, um, Lava Bubble to light those torches instead of, uh, ham instead of the Fire Bow because I was having trouble capturing the Fire Bow. That was fun. <laughs> more of these second spinies in this area, which is annoying. There we go. Okay, so we want to head over this way so that we can start climbing back up the mountain. We actually did set the checkpoint there, so we could warp all the way over there, but I want to go through that 2D section on the way and get the purple coins that we missed, because it turns out we can. So yeah, um, this area is hilariously easy to skip, which is why we skipped it before. Um, but we're gonna go through it this time. I'm getting really good at timing that. Okay, so there's like a hammer bro here, as you can see. You gotta pop the spade, it's spot, under spot underneath in order to wipe him out. And there's these three purple coins up here, which is the reason we're going this way, so we can get them. Uh, there aren't any moons in this one, it's a very sparse area, and it's hilariously easy to skip, so... Uh, like you might think, oh, it's actually a heart over here, I didn't know that. Um, it's just a regular heart, that's not very really exciting. But yeah, that's all that's in there. Um, so yeah, what you can do is literally just do a long jump over here and cap bounce your way to the other side. Um, like that. So it's the it's really, really, really easy to skip that 2D section, and I assume that was on purpose. Because, yeah, see how easy that is? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, I believe we already got everything in there. Oh, no, we didn't. There's purple coins here to get. Let's get them. Uh, so yeah, basically the threat here is these log thingies will kick you out because they're not lava and lava bubbles can only survive in lava. So you have to be careful on your way up that you don't accidentally get kicked out and then be standing on lava as regular Mario. Huh. Okay, so that's what happens. Uh, I'd never actually had it happen before. Um, so you just sort of roll back down safely unless you, you know, walk off and touch the lava. But I didn't, so we're fine. <laughs> I'm glad I got to see that, because, yeah, I had no idea what would happen. <laughs> uh, I think we already got that moon. Pretty sure we did. Let's turn around and have a quick look. Yeah, we did. Uh, here, you're just supposed to light that, which makes the story moon show up. Um, but we already got it, because we did this part of the story. We'll just grab it. Um, at this point, I believe... Oh, oh yeah, I thought we had a problem because I couldn't open this door. But you can just slide down the wall to open it. It's interesting, most doors in the game don't have that problem, but that one does. It's an interesting quirk. Um, okay, here we can get this piranha plant captured by doing that. Basically, you distract it with a rock, and then when you shoot Cappy at it, it can't um, eat her because it's already got something in its mouth. Uh, then you can ignite these two torches very easily. And get the moon. Yeah. Not that far off. They're pretty close lens, really. You could also go get a lava bubble and light them that way. And I guess they would be farther off if you did it that way. But that's not how we did it, so easy. Um, you can get some coins out of this treasure chest if you want. I do want, which is why I'm doing it. Cool. 
Um, Captain Toad is over there. I don't think we've spoken to Captain Toad yet. Uh, but there isn't a lava bubble over here to use to get over there very easily, so we'll do it later. Uh, for the moment, we're going to climb up the peak here. There's a couple of ways to get up. Um, and the race involves climbing up this peak, so you have to know a couple of different routes to be able to get up there nice and quick. There are some visible blocks there you can use to cross this area, but you don't need them because you can just do that. Um, get a life apart. I had no idea the blocks were there for a while because I just jumped around the first time and didn't actually try to reveal them. Uh, here you can just jump up. Some visible coins to reward you for taking that route, I guess. Uh, up there, there's some purple coins we haven't gotten yet, so I'm gonna go that way. There we go. Another one of these uh, piranha plants there. Oh no, that's not good. Okay. <laughs> okay, Mario is now extremely singed, as you can see. And we will have to start climbing back up again because I accidentally overshot jumping on the piranha plant. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm sorry, Mario. I know you don't like to be on fire. Okay, there we go. Okay, so yeah, what I usually do is go this way. Because that lets you avoid those rocks over there a bit more easily. Uh, well, yeah, there's some more purple coins here that I want. So I'm going to capture... I think there's a lava bubble just back there we can use. Try not to burn yourself on the way. There we go. So here what you've got to do is jump on the lava side of these platforms because you're a lava bubble and you will not survive the other side. You'll turn back into Mario. Uh, over here, as you can see, there's the purple coins. The easiest way to get them basically is to get a lava bubble and jump onto this platform on the lava side. Not like that. Oh my god. I'm having a bit of a problem here. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, I might just keep going because the checkpoint is just here and I haven't activated it yet. And when you activate a new checkpoint, you get fully healed. So, there we go. Uh, what we can do here is just drop down to grab that purple coin. There we go. And then we can continue. So yeah, uh, to do the story, you just have to climb up to the top here. Grab a lava bubble from this spot. Um. You don't want to go that way in the race. You basically want to capture this fork from down there, the ledge below, which is much, much faster. But I was going for purple coins, not, not speed, so... Uh, here we go. So here's another cannon. This one, it's kind of hard to tell exactly where it's pointed, but it is going to go up into the... If I jump in, it'll actually show you. You can see it's going to go up into the pot where Cookatiel is so we can have a fight. <laughs> so this boss, it's a little flawed. Um, I like it, but it's got some problems. Uh, chief among those problems is the fact that you can do that to burn Cooker Teal, but that doesn't actually do any damage. So you can't keep doing that. What you have to do is swim up, uh, swim up this uh, vomit here, basically to bop the teal on the head. And it's a little ambiguous that that's what you're supposed to do because it looks like an attack and it's not clear that you can swim in that stuff. Um, granted, I've played the game several times so I know that, I know that that's what you do, but on a first attempt, it is a little vague and I'm not sure they did it that why they did it that way. Uh, burning the teal like, behind by jumping up like that is useful. It forces them to instantly go to this part of the attack, which is very, very helpful when you want to do it quickly, um, because that's the part that lets you attack them back. You just skip ahead, basically, to the next part where you can attack by jumping into the boss's butt. I'm having a bit of trouble doing it, though, because the boss is going fast. 
There we go. Um, so yeah, you get the idea. This boss also isn't very hard, it's just a little tricky to figure out. Oh, this part's a bit tricky. I, I don't... I, I have trouble getting into these ones in time. I just have a little trouble with the depth perception, basically. To see whether I'm gonna land on it or not. Oh no! <laughs> Bam! And that's it, three hits. So yeah, it's, it's not not a hard boss. It's just a little vague. Um, fun though. It's an interesting extension of the other stuff you did with Love Bubbles earlier. So yeah, we're gonna grab that moon there. Um, ba -da -bum, ba -da -dum, da -da -dum, da -da -da and that's the story done. Uh, so, this kingdom is now story complete. Um, I believe that's the last one we didn't finish the story in. I'm not sure. Let me just have a quick look. Yeah, uh, that's the last one with story moons that weren't done. So, now that we've done all of this game's story moons, we are officially in a state called World Peace. Uh, the game tracks that, whether you've gotten to World Peace yet or not, it's kind of hilarious. Um, so, um, enjoy World Peace, everyone, because this is, this is it. We're, we're in a peaceful world now. Um, and we're going to be grabbing some more moons. <laughs> uh... Watch out for that. Uh, I'm gonna head over towards town because there should be some stuff we can do over there. I'm gonna let this, keep this video going for a while because the story did not take long to finish off. Uh, there's a bunny here. I think the bunny... I don't know if we got the bunny already. I don't remember. Where'd the bunny go? Where the heck did the bunny go? <laughs> oh, there's the bunny. Okay. <laughs> the money just vanished. <laughs> oh my god, it, that was funny. Okay, um... Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, so that's one of the moons we can get here. Another one we can get is by talking to this fellow, who is the tourist we've been seeing various places in the game. It's the taxi guy! I mean, that's the taxi guy, but this is the guy who's with the taxi guy. <laughs> Above and beyond. I'll leave you to guess where that is, because they don't actually say outright where they're going next. But there aren't a whole lot of places left in the game, so... <laughs> you may be able to guess. Uh, did we already do this room? I don't remember. The answer is no, we haven't been in here yet. Okay, so this is just a little challenge room of sorts, with two moons and these platforms that keep sinking into the lava, except for the middle parts. So you basically just have to platform your way around in order to get the moons. Yeah! It's pretty easy. Um, I say as I get hurt, because I said it's pretty easy. Uh, Remember, moon shards stay collected if you die, so there's not a whole lot that can mess you up here. Uh, you just have to make your way over. And yeah, your platforming abilities are ridiculous, so you don't have too much trouble making your way over to all the areas you need to go to. It'd be a little bit faster if I could just throw Cappy on the ground, but I can't, so... Slightly slower it is. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, not hard. There's the moon. Ba-da-ba-da-ba-dum-ba! <laughs> yeah! And those are all the moons we have to do here, just the two. 
As usual, a sub area, two moons. Pretty standard. Okie dokie. Uh, now what? I'm gonna head back over towards Bronza Plaza because I think there's some. Oh, hang on. Hang on. There's a timer challenge. Hello, timer challenge. Um, I forget what this. Oh, right. Uh, those purple blocks are gonna disappear when you walk on them. As you can see. So. Hmm. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> So, yeah, we have to make our way over there, not roll off the edge once we're over there, like I just did. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is going to be quite the thing. Oh, I enjoy when things in this game are a thing. So, yeah, um, the gaps, as you can see, are fairly small, so you can do that in order to get across. Uh... I'm just not sure about this part where we have to turn around. Okay, there we go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Okay, it just took two tries. So yeah, it's not it's not hard, but it was fun. I had fun. And that's sort of the point of playing a video game when you think about it. <laughs> no, sort of. No, 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 not entirely. Just 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 a little bit. You look like a no like you don't look any bigger than the other forks, so I don't know if, like, you have a big tummy or something because you ate a lot. I guess not. I believe there isn't anything to look at in this kingdom, but let's just have a quick peek. Yeah, I can't see anything. Okay. <laughs> um... I don't know if I already did this one. I didn't. So yeah, you just break that sparkling crate there, and there's a moon inside. I think I was aiming to get some of the harder moons the first time I was here. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba, yeah! <laughs> oh my goodness. Purple coins! Come here, purple coins. Add yourselves to my purple coin arsenal. Uh, there's a hundred of them here, so there are two costumes to get, as well as some souvenirs. So we want to try to get everything we can. I think only one of the costumes is required, but we do want to get both of them. Uh, the slots are here. Um, this is the hardest version of the slots in the game. There are five. Uh, this, this may be a bit of a thing. Uh, we'll see how we go. I'm just gonna head over here. Okay. Um... Okay, that's a really good start. Um... No! Oh. Time's the second half wrong. Oh, that would have been really good, but I messed it up. Oh my goodness. Let's try again. Okay. Oh, wow. No! Oh. So close! Look at that! Oh. The timing is, is tricky. <laughs> but if we pull this off, that's all the slots in the game done. There aren't any more. So... <sighs> Let's just keep it a few more tries. Oops. <laughs> uh, well, that's not what I'm trying to get, but... I won't say no. Ah, uh, damn it. Hello, friend. I would like to play your game again. Three. Ah, 
just a little bit too slow. Oh, that was so close. <sighs> yeah, well, I'm just gonna keep going till I get this. <sighs> the superstar mode version of the slots is insane. <laughs> it's pretty much random. Um, not that word. I meant, I meant ridiculous. Sorry about that word. I shouldn't have said that. Well, that's one with the life apart, but not what I had in mind. But yeah, the Superstar Mode version, basically, it's going so fast that you can't time it at all. Um, I think it's pretty much just random, <laughs> because it's so fast. Uh, whereas this version, it's, it's about skill, absolutely about skill. Really now? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... Awesome. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm gonna grab a few more moons. Uh, this still isn't a super long video. We can do a few more. Okay, so that's the hardest slots in the game done. All of the slots can be done permanently crouching. Uh, excellent. Uh, I don't know if we got that moon already. I feel like we might have, but it's one of the easier ones. Maybe, maybe, maybe I've decided not to. I don't know. Now oh, we got it. Okay. Oh, it is a bit tricky to get onto that, onto that platform. Maybe that's why I decided to do it. Hmm. Uh, if we go over to the shop here, we have enough uh, tomatoes to buy an outfit that I would like to purchase over here. The chef outfit. Um, which, of course, is quite appropriate to wear in this particular kingdom because it's the, it's the luncheon kingdom and all. Cooking Mamma Mia. <laughs> That's not as good a joke as Sailor Moon, let's be honest. Still funny, though. <laughs> uh, and, yeah, the costume room is right over here, next to the shop. It's... Yeah, you got the clothes, you've got to come in here. Basically, what you got to do... There are two little pots of stew in this room, and all you got to do is just get one of these hats. Not hats, what are these things called? lava bubbles into each of the pots. Uh, the first one is super easy. You just gotta jump like that. It simmers, the moon pops out. Easy peasy. The second one is quite a bit harder. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yes! <laughs> Said yes instead of yeah. <laughs> so, um, to do this one, you have to get a lava bubble up to that pot over there. Uh, the difficult part is that there are no lava bubbles on that side. They're all on this side. So what you have to do is bop these tomatoes here, tomatoes, these tomatoes here, so that you have a path of lava you can use to get to the other side. Yeah, it's hard. Um. See, you can see they make little puddles there. Remember, when you are a lava bubble, you can jump into the puddles made by the tomatoes. So you have to form a pathway to follow. Oh god. Yeah, I had a feeling that... Oh, no. No, almost. Yeah, they respawn after a little while, so you have to be quite quick. Uh, like, they reform into not being platforms that you can stand on, sort of thing. Okay, there we go. Uh, then you just jump over here. Jump over here. Uh, this bit... 
I got stuck here forever because you have to actually build up a little bit of speed to jump in there. You can't just jump from the edge. <sighs> I thought I thought it was impossible, but no, it's just really easy. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, and that's both the moons done. Um, really straightforward because you do it basically in a capture. But yeah, the kind of the tricky part is the fact that you have to get those tomatoes into the right shapes. Uh, I believe in superstar mode. They put all the love bubbles on this side, so this one becomes the easy moon, and you have to do this bit backwards in order to get back to the other pot. Which is an interesting change. Uh, and this pipe just leads back out. Since it would otherwise be kind of hard to get out because there's no love bubbles over here and there's lava and etc. Anyway, we're done in there, so... Uh, we're gonna head this direction now. And bonk. Because everyone loves to bonk. Uh, I'm gonna have a bubble over here. Some purples up here we can get. There's a few more you can see by jumping up here, but they're actually on the other side of this little wall here, so you can't get them here. There's a bit of a weird design choice that they made. I don't know. Uh, get some purple coins. If we go into this cannon here, which wasn't here until we did, did part of the story, I'm not sure how much. We can jump out of our bubble here, in order to land up here. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba! Yeah! And get that moon. And also come over to here, where there's these three turnips, uh, and pull them all up, because one of them is a golden turnip. And of course a golden turnip contains a light blue moon for some reason. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> anyway, we have to take it back to that stew pot over there, in Bronza Plaza. It's a little tricky. Um, it's not super tricky, but it's a little, little hard. Um, you have to be careful, because you can have this destroyed by the Pan Bros if you're not really careful with it. I think probably a triple jump's what I want here. Uh, if you're holding it, I think they won't destroy it, but if you try to capture one to do it to like get the blocks out of the way, you might have some trouble. I don't know why being hit with a big turn of actually kills those guys, but it does. <laughs> there we go. So, once you got up here, it's pretty easy. Uh, you just gotta hop into these little platforms here. These little, this little staircase of sorts. Pop that guy on the head if you want, you don't have to. Just toss it in there. And there's your moon. I, I don't know why there's cyan moons inside golden turnips, but there you go. ba da ba da ba da ba Yeah! Uh, there's one more golden turnip. As you can see, it's recipe two. There's a third golden turnip, which is a bit farther away and a little bit harder to get all the way over here. Uh, I don't think there's any way you can do, you can like cook the golden turnips except that one pot there. So you have to get all three of them in the same spot, and it's a little tricky. Uh, basically, the third one is on the other side of that wall right in front of us. That one over there with the stairs, like the ramps. Uh, so yeah, you have to go over there and do it. Um, the hint art, by the way, is up here, so I'm just gonna go look at it. Uh, oh yeah, it's, it's somewhere in the Lake Kingdom. No, not Lake Kingdom, Seaside. As you can see, Poochie's pointing out somewhere in the Seaside Kingdom. We'll probably do that maybe next video, I don't know. I, I'm not in the mood to change kingdoms right now. <laughs> um, I feel like we already lit that lantern. I, I have a memory of doing it, so... Uh, over here is, you hop down that, this hole here to get those purple coins we could see from the other side a little while earlier. Uh, so now we have them. There we go. There's also some purples out there in the, in the, um, like, big area that we'll be going to get. There we go. Uh, this video is about reaching about 30 minutes, so I'll probably grab maybe one more moon and then call it, call it a day. Oops. Uh, well, that's not good. Um... It worked! <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, I'm gonna walk to start the peak climb. So yeah, if you're touching lava, or poison, you have like a one, like a really small window to open the map and warp somewhere else, because you're actually start standing on the ground, which is what you need to do to be able to warp. Even though the ground happens to be lava or poison, you can still do that. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. 
And we can just get that to get back to health we just lost. Uh, um, yeah, I guess to get to Captain Toad... Oh, hang on. There's a timer challenge here. Let's do this. Is this one? Oh, right, this one. Okay, so basically, we just have to get under these two platforms here. They wobble a bit. Uh, uh, but it's not too bad, and we just gotta make our way back over. Nice and quick. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, that's it for this video, I reckon. Um, I'm happy with that number of moons. That's, what, 16? 16's a good number. I'm happy. Um, I reckon I will call that a video. Uh, and in the next one, we'll do more minor moons in this kingdom, because there's a lot. <laughs> And we can do all of them. There's nothing that requires you to sit down or do a dance in this kingdom. So we should be able to do everything. Uh, there is... There are a couple of moons that require you to, uh... What's the word? To, uh... Leave Cappy behind and do a capless area. And I tried to do that earlier. And it was really hard. So... We'll see how that goes. Um... But in theory it's possible. So... We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk back to... Uh, I wanna cash in these moons before we finish. Uh, I'm just thinking if we just walk back to the Odyssey or something else. Uh, over to the meat plateau. There's some stuff to do over this area. The actual meat is gone, of course, but... Uh, if you have a little look around, I believe there's some stuff we can do over here. Yes. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure if that was in if that was a B-side moon or not. But if you look closely, you can see this ledge down here, the bottom one, is sparkling because there's a moon in it. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba, yeah. <laughs> okay, 17 moons then. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to walk back to the Odyssey. <laughs> and that's going to be the video. Um, and that's probably it for today, I reckon. Probably, probably going to stop recording. I've done a bunch of stuff. I finished off Bob Lane, and I did the story, and a bunch of other stuff here. That's pretty good. How are we doing coin-wise? We're, we're about halfway. Those just have coins in them. Some of the other ones give you moons and stuff when you do all of them. These ones don't. There we go. Cash these in. Bloop, 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 bloop. Blomp. <laughs> uh, we can get a costume for that. I wonder if we've already gone past the number of costumes you can get. We may have done. I'm not sure where the cutoff is. Anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, next time, we'll be getting some more minor moons here, including the Hintart, because I want to reset this kingdom and load the rest of the A-side moons. Uh, so we'll be doing that in the next video, among other things. Pretty sure there's a way to get up there. Maybe you have to wait till the fork has appeared. I think a fork shows up there later. Like the ones on this side. Uh, anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, Fimo! I don't know, I was going to say Wumi, but that was the previous kingdom. Seaside Kingdom's the Wumi Kingdom. This one's the Vimo Kingdom. I, I don't know why, but it is. It's going to bonk against this wall here. There we go. Take that, Mario. Whoa, those fireballs are a bit scary. <laughs> anyway, uh, end of video now. I need to stop rambling on at the ends of my videos. It's ridiculous. Wow.